I think the Sea Kings and Fishmen are descendants of kings and survivors from the Void Century who transformed themselves into sea monsters to survive a massive flood caused by the now celestial dragons. I watched Neptune talking to Garp on the anime post Reverie when this image appeared. I thought, LMAO, why the hell is there a keep out sign at the bottom of the ocean floor? And just brushed it off as it's probably just an anime only edition. But then it clicked me. What if it's not really the ocean floor? The Sea Kings are all very, very different from one another. They don't seem to be the same species nor do they look like each other and we do know they're capable of communication. They say their ruler is born in the form of a mermaid and they're not sure why. I say they're not sure why because they know they're originally humans and were originally ruled on by a human. The reason those humans turned themselves into sea creatures and into fishmen is to survive a flood caused by the now celestial dragons. That's why Poseidon, Shirahoshi is an ancient weapon. The celestial dragons fear her power and want to neutralize her. That's why celestial dragons heavily discriminate and enslave the fishmen, their ancient enemies. The celestial dragons used one of the ancient weapons, probably Uranus or some sort of devil fruit ocean ocean fruit storm storm fruit to flood the entire world and some other power to build the red line where mary joise is set on top and fishman island directly under ancient sworn enemies which is definitely artificial since it's messing with the whales migratory route and they're all still bashing their heads on it trying to take it down not just laboon the sea kings and fishmen are Ancient kings and queens turned into sea creatures, now being enslaved and discriminated upon.